this is Sierra Nevada and welcome to another video. Today we are doing something a little bit different today. And I did, well, if you've read the description, no, the title of this video, you might know what I'm talking about. I am planning to talk about um, more about my disabilities and how they affect my gameplay and why I'm doing this. Why I created YouTube in the first place. Because, you know, people might be interested. Well, we should get started then. Um, yeah. Today, I am... Um, when I was born, I was born with a random... Well, a, ver a rare genetic disorder called Charge Syndrome which is a variety of symptoms ranging from six main categories. Eyes, heart, nose, learning growth, biological growth, and hearing. You can learn more about that in, um, in well, in the link I'll provide in the description below, the Charge Syndrome Foundation. I got most of my information and research from there. So... Yeah, I had to do my own research about what I have, too, which I did twice in high school. <laughs> twice. Because, yeah, there's still stuff being learned about it. And there are a variety of symptoms, so no two pers no people, no two people with charge have the same symptoms. Fair enough that only one in nine to ten thousand babies born a day are born with it, and they don't, they are very likely not to survive their first five years of life. And I have a very mild case of charge, which you will see as, I, as we continue into this video. Mango is being a little noisy. She's, he's my sister's toys. You are wondering. <laughs> That is not someone sneaking out and outside the door. Trust me. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, well, firstly, we start with the C, which is caliboma, or vision loss. And basically, I can't see out of one eye, and I have a prosthetic, so that uh, I look a little normal, more normal. It's, yeah, I, it's, the eye is still there, it's just small, and I can, I can only see light out of it on, on particular conditions, like, it's not possible that I could ever see out of that eye. <laughs> Zero possibility. My other eye has blind spots on it, so like caliboma or blind spots, hence the name, hence the thing, and that means I don't always see things and catch things like I should, like social cues or <laughs> like items in a chest if it's unorganized, so staying organized definitely helps knowing where everything In Minecraft, it's really fun because I can't always see what's going on. It's like building. I can't build excessively of black items like concrete, terracotta, anything black. If I do something with black, I have to have something behind it so I can see where I haven't placed it or I placed too much. Or, yeah. Yeah, dark colors are really hard for me to see together, because they blend together, yeah, even obsidian. <laughs> yeah, that's just something I know. And I've never actually defeated a, the wither or the ender dragon, because I'm just, like, my vision would limit what I can do, and... Because of that, I'm really bad at PvP and parkour. 
because I can't always see what I'm supposed to do. And when my screen is moving around, it's a little harder to actually focus on what I'm doing and actually get it done. <laughs> yeah, that's my vision for you. Yeah. The next one is my heart which isn't affected by my gameplay, but it is affected on other things like when it comes to exercise or um, the such. Um, yeah, I do motions to music videos, if you've watched those. They're really good for exercise too. So, <laughs> like, yeah, I had two open heart surgeries in my lifetime, one at 11 months old to fix a defect called Tetralogy up below, which is French for, French for hole in the heart, I believe. Yeah, I think it's a French word. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That was fixed. But I think I also had another, like, I also had a leaky pulmonary valve, which was fixed at the age of 14. And that valve that was replaced is now leaking again. So I am planning on another surgery or procedure in the next few years. So things may change depending on what comes up. Yeah. It doesn't affect my gameplay. It doesn't affect anything. Unless, of course, it just scares me really bad. <laughs> The next one is my nose, or, yeah, I can't really say it, or Tricia, yeah, nose. It's like, I can't smell of this nose, like, but I can taste fine. So I'm thinking it's more like, my nose is so stuffed up that it can't smell. It can't take in any of the scent smell stuff. So, yeah, I don't have a sense of smell. I had like a couple laser surgeries on my nose as well. Eleven surgeries total, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk about all of them. We had a lot of them. And yeah, someone's awake. <laughs> and yeah. We got Yeah, I also have seasonal allergies, which definitely affects my nose. And also my prosthetic eye, it gets goofy and then I have to take it out. I do a video, it looks a little different. It's like, you can tell when I have it out, unless I'm at a distance or not showing your face. So yeah, unless I mention it, you wouldn't know. Which you? <laughs> And warning bros, where they are, you can look at look up what the thing is there, but I'm not gonna look it up because I I mean I'm not gonna say it because well not everybody likes the word that they use. That's all I'm gonna say. And YouTube probably wouldn't like it. So <laughs> Yeah. You can find it in the link in the description of this Chart Syndrome Foundation. They definitely will say what it is. Yeah, I use Warning Bros because it's on a spam, um, a spectrum from the extreme, wheelchair, very limited, can't do anything, and very severe to simple learning disability, which I have. I have a mild case of learning disability due to my vision and hearing. And yeah, I love to learn. I can learn. It's just sometimes it takes me a little longer to. But yeah, that's basically it. And for growth, the G, basically I'm short. There are other stuff, but I'm not going to talk about the game. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, basically I'm short. I've had growth development delays, but that's all you need to know, basically. It's like, yeah, most of them don't really matter for this <laughs> the gameplay and all that but it's a fun thing to know 
Do they do any trivia? Yep. Next one is ears. As you can see, I have hearing aids on both ears. And, yeah. They help me hear everything and anything. They're both a blessing and a curse. I've had them since I was really little, as long as I can remember. <sighs> yeah. Meh. <laughs> 18 months, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they don't pick up everything, though, which is unfortunate. It's like, I can't even hear a creeper sneaking up behind me until he's exploded. Then again, pff, most people can hear the hissing sound, at least, but I can't always tell. It's like, yeah, I'm a little restricted. I can't always hear everything. Despite the fact that my hearing aids are supposed to do it, they don't always pick everything up. They pick up whistling really well, which... I don't like whistling. <laughs> it's too high-pitched for me. And it's one of those pitches that just... really drive me crazy. <laughs> that and bad language. Then again... I do have a little bit of autism, so that kind of does make sense. Then again, maybe. I do have a little bit of autism. It's not official. I don't know for sure. But it's a theory. It's a theory. Yeah. It's like I can't detect sound or direct sound. Like, when someone's calling my name in a crowd... It sounds like it's coming from everywhere. <laughs> it's like I can't detect it unless I see them saying my name and know and see them motioning to me or put a hand on my shoulder or something. It's like that's you have to do a little more because I can't always hear you hear everything, especially in a large crowd or space. Like other things you can know about me is like I have balance issues, which makes me really clumsy and hurt myself a lot. <laughs> Run into things. I can't even walk straight. <laughs> even if I try and concentrate really hard, I can't walk straight. It's like I can't walk in a straight line unless I'm pushing something or holding something or someone. <laughs> Usually just Just know that goes. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is, like, yeah, I do have a teeny bit of autism. It's like I get really excited and super focused. Sometimes I focus on a topic for way longer than it should because I'm, I, I have a slower thought process. But it's because I'm more of a listener than I am a speaker. I don't like speaking stuff on my mind, what's on my mind. I like thinking about it, just figure out what I want to say, so I say it. And yeah, I'm more of a listener than I am a speaker. Even though I have hearing aids. <laughs> I can't always hear everything. But now that you know a little bit more about me with charge and basically Minecraft gameplay with that kind of stuff, it's a little bit. It's like I'd probably tell you more as the situation come up, but yeah, I should probably move on to more questions that I have picked out. Basically. Um, why do I play Minecraft with all the things that I have? I play Minecraft because, well, I just like to show that I can play Minecraft. Because just because you have disabilities doesn't mean you can't do something. It just means you're a little limited on what you can do. But there's always something that 
you can do. Even if it's just a little longer or something. So I can build, I can create, I can play a game, a mini game, and be just fine. I'm not always good at it, uh, but yeah, hide and seek, uh, murder mystery, sky wars, bed wars. I can play them. I'm just really bad at it. Survival games, especially. PvP. I'm like, yeah, I can watch people play and I'll be fine. But playing them myself, it's a little limited. I can do. I can do it. It's just not my strong suit. It's like, I'd prefer building or telling stories through the game than anything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did... Why did I start YouTube, Minecraft, stories, music? Why did I start YouTube, basically? Basically because I haven't seen many people out there who have similar things to what I have. Like, basic limitations or obstacles, as I like to call them. And, yeah. And, yeah. I've seen people who have some disability of some sort, but never in the sense it's like they play a game. They're like vlogging or something. I'm like, they don't actually sit down and play a game. There are gamers out there who probably have disabilities. I just don't know about them. And there are probably players out there who have disabilities as well. I don't know about them. And I want to be able to support those who have those disabilities and play games and such. And are limited by what they can and can't do. And there's a baby right in the background. <laughs> yeah. So like motion and music videos and stories. I love writing and telling stories. Mostly telling stories, but since I don't want to get claimed for telling, reading someone else's story, I write my own and tell that because it's fun. And I can't really do originals right now. Yeah, I don't have as I'm as I'm doing this video. I don't have enough people who want to read my listen to my original stories to do that. Like, if I have more subscribers, then maybe. But right now, I'm probably going to do more fan fiction songs. I have done original stories. I have done those. They've just done really poorly. <laughs> yeah. And. Just. It's like, motions and music. Yeah, they probably do get copyrighted pretty quickly. But that's fine. All I really want. I don't want. I don't need the money. I can't get money yet. I don't have that enough subscribers or use yet. It's like, I don't need it. <laughs> like, I don't need that. All I want is to entertain people and show people. I'm like, yeah, you can have motions to some of these stuff. Like, yeah, for the days of Elijah. There are some videos that just do clapping girl verses. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know motions to the verses, so why don't I just do that? It's like, it's helpful. It gets people moving a little more. It gets, it gives entertainment to people who need it. And, yeah, gaming is that game. Yeah, I'm still limited. But I know my limitations, and I know when to step back a little bit because I want to make sure I enjoy what I'm doing so yeah <sighs> do I prefer to yeah like basically do I prefer do I prefer like calling disabilities something else by uh, like Basically, I like calling disabilities obstacles. I basically said it before in my Twitter. 
it's like basically I prefer calling my disabilities obstacles because well everyone has them everyone has an obstacle that they have to face on a day-to-day -day basis it could be depression it could be learning disability it could be autism it could be schizophrenia it could be just brain drama <laughs> school drama it could be losing someone you love or something it's like it could be anything anything that keeps you from having a quote unquote perfect day or perfect life is an obstacle because there's no such thing as perfect but everyone has something that they struggle with whether they admit it or not they do and including everybody not just those who have physical or mental disability is something I'd like to see yeah everyone has obstacles and it's better than disabilities because it makes you feel a little insignificant, broken, helpless. And that's not what we want in a community. We want to include people, to accept people. And a great way to do that is to find something that we all have in common. Like obstacles. We all have something that makes us makes us connected, united, and yeah, it might not be the same thing. It's like, it's charge. There are probably only a few people in this world who have charge. I probably don't even know the same symptoms as I do. That doesn't mean we don't have something in common. We all have different stuff. Same thing here. Obstacles. That's what I call them. That's why. like yeah mostly I want to inspire those people who are feeling a little left out or not included or forgotten in some way it's like gamers who have disability of some sort it's like maybe they're afraid to play because they don't want to be judged and think that they can't do anything you know you can do something you can do something you can make a mini pack, even if you have something that not many people understand. You can do something. Yeah. It's something not many people think about, but yeah. Doesn't matter what you have, who you are, or what you're doing. You could do something to inspire and encourage someone else. Even if it's just one person. Even though I do have quite a few subscribers. All I want is to help one person and make their day just a little bit brighter. Just a little. Because, yeah, they're not alone. I know what they're going through. Well, not literally. <laughs> not literally know where they're going through, but I do know. I understand what it means to go through a struggle. I've had 11 surgeries. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things, heard a lot of things, like you could hear in the background a few minutes ago. Yeah. I've been through a lot. I just choose not to talk about it right now. I'm just talking about what I have and how it bases on my gaming and video maybe. That's all that matters for me right now. And yeah. And as a Christian gamer, that's fine. That's fine for me. It's like, yes, I do believe in Jesus, but I'm not forcing it on anyone. I'm not telling anyone they have to believe. It's their choice. I'm just a PG YouTuber and a Christian. <laughs> I'm just having fun. And I want you guys to have fun. Whether or not you have the same beliefs as I do. It's like, I want to understand perspective. I want to understand. 
And if I can't, I'll try to at least a little bit. It's like, because Jesus said that about me. <laughs> yeah, cliche, but true. To love your neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor, basically. Oh. And I guess that's what I'm doing. Even if it's just a small video or every other video afterwards. I'm just doing what I feel is needed to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've liked it, be sure to like the video and subscribe. Hit the bell if you're new. Well, subscribe and hit the bell if you're new. Oof. Yeah. And comment down below any questions you have for me. Or comments. So long as they're nice. Otherwise, yeah. I won't be so... <laughs> Not that that matters. You probably have already commented something already and that's fine I just hope you guys have a nice wonderful day rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this whether it's in the past or the future or somewhere in between I'll see you guys next time goodbye